the creation of personas is not new by any means. Some personas take on a life of their own in our imaginations. From uh, Tintin to Superman and more recently Harry Potter, authors and artists have visualised characters that are three-dimensional, flawed and perfect at the same time. You yourself may have avatars that you use in gaming, either resembling you or totally different in every way. So when you create a persona, you have lots of inspiration to draw on. True, the clerk in accounting who will use the software to be developed may not be as charismatic as Iron Man, but does have unique characteristics too. The persona we are about to create has one or more goals that are aligned with the product vision. Firstly, the best way to create personas is in a workshop with as diverse a team as possible. The objective will be to map out one flip chart page for a persona. So how do you create a persona? One, start off by deciding some basic demographics like age, gender, work status such as at school, contract worker or retired. Two, pick a name and find an illustration for your persona. Three, you can start thinking about why the persona needs and wants the product. Now fill in uh, more personal details and demographics to, to round out this persona. Does a person play sport, have a Facebook account, enjoy crime series? Is he or she a vegetarian, married, single or do they have children? Document as you go using a flip chart or a whiteboard. Later you can make a more permanent version of each persona that should be pinned up on the wall near the product vision board. This will probably be the primary persona who is most likely to buy the product. The persona you have just created will need adjustment as the project continues. You will probably need to add uh, additional information with each sprint. Sometimes if a major change is requested during the project, you may have to completely redefine your persona.